Hello from Fairshare IT Services. In the previous video, we saw how to find out the large images. So please watch the previous video in case you don't know that. But if you know that, you already know that this mother daughter hugging home, this is like more than 800 KBs, which is quite large. And we want to take get it down to say less than 300 uh, KB without hampering the image quality too much. So how can we easily do it using a software called as Jim. So right now I'm just going to show, show you one feature of Jim, but in the YouTube video description, you will find out how to download Jim and like, you know, and install it like on your laptop. So once it is installed, after that it is quite easy actually, and it's just a few clicks and then you can install it, but that's not the purpose of this video. So what you do is now you find out this uh, JPG, which is more than 800 TB, right click on it, open in new tab, so once you open in new tab, again, right click on it and then save as, save image as. So I'm using Google Chrome. So Firefox might be a little bit different. So after that, you save it. Once the saving notification is over, then you go to go to the file manager or explorer. Then you will find that it is in an appropriate folder. You will find that this particular file is available. Again, right click, right click on it, then op go to open with and then click on Jim. So once Jim is installed, then, then, you know, then you will see this option like on your laptop also that when you right click, it will, you know, you get an option to open it in Jim. So once the file is open in, open in Jim, uh, it is quite easy actually. Yeah. So whatever pop-ups come in, like for example, this one, just click on convert. Don't worry too much because we are not doing like a professional image edits. It's like a simple and easy to use kind of an image edit, right? Then after once this is over, like you'll find out that there are multiple options here. Click on the file option, click on export as in the export as don't change anything. Let it be the same file and everything. Then click on export. Once you click on export, it will ask you whether you want to replace the file or not. It's up to you. But in this case, I'll just say replace because you know, the original file is anyway available on the, on the portal. But if you want to take any, take, keep this as a back, backup, use a new file name. Then I click on replace. Then here, this is the important part. You know, normally what I do is we really don't know, don't need, you know, too much of high quality for this particular website. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reduce the quality to 70%, right? And then I'm going to click on export. But before that, let me take you to the file manager here. You will see that the size is 800 KB, right? Then go back here because we want to make sure that it has reduced after we, uh, you know, export it with a lower quality image, then click on export. Right. The, the file image has already been saved. So what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to refresh this particular page. Okay. I refreshed it. And as you can see, the image size is now reduced to 174 KB. So which is, which is a, you know, huge saving. So as I said in the previous video, the developer should have taken care of this right at the beginning instead of we doing the reverb. Now, how do we upload it back to the website? That is another problem because, you know, it depends on what kind of uh, content management system was used to develop the site. Like for example, if it is WordPress, then you will have to learn about it. But most likely your role is to give it back to the development team, unless your manager has told you exactly how to, you know, put this file back, the lower size file back to the portal. So that's all. And thank you very much for watching, you know, saying bye from Fair Share IT Services.